Whoa! Um. Whoa! I didn't see you there. Good morning, Lancers. I'm Katina, and today we have Corey in the house for this week's edition of Lancers in the News. Let's start you guys off with some club announcements. Bienvenidos to all you Latino Lancers out there, or those who just really enjoy a bomb taco and coca. There will be a brief Latinos Unidos meeting October 26th in room 308 during lunch. Por favor, bring your $3 dues. If we have any Star Wars fans or anyone who has always wanted to watch the movies, then we think Yoda won who should join the Star Wars club in watching Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, every day at lunch this week in room 501. It's a free event, there's free food, so fly on by. Mr. Fergoso also wanted to add that there is a Barcada meeting today at lunch in room 403. You know, Corey, I've really been lagging on my college stuff. Well, Katina, that sounds more like a personal problem. To those seniors or anyone who does want to get more informed about college, then come to our annual college night, which will be hosted in none other than the Carroll Center next Monday at 7. Seniors, if you and your parents want to save some money, 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 then you're especially encouraged to attend the financial aid presentations in the library. The first one will take place at 7 and repeat it at 8. There will also be a presentation, Creating Options in College Search, Find the Perfect College and How to Pay for It, at 6.15 in the seminar room before the college fair. Guys, college is important, so on Monday, all of y'all can rep your dream school by wearing college shirts or sweatshirts. Mm. You know, Katina, in addition to our college night, we still have some visiting our campus. You're absolutely right, Corey. Representatives from the following colleges will be visiting our campus. Today... St. Anselm College and Willamette University. Monday, University of San Diego and University of Connecticut. Tuesday, Maryville University and Vanguard University. Wednesday, College of St. Benedict and St. John's University of Minnesota. Please see Mr. Scott for hall passes. Seniors, information packets regarding the sale of senior ads have been mailed out to the homes of the class of 2018. Senior ads purchased before the deadline will be guaranteed while ads purchased after will be sold based upon availability. The deadlines for all materials and the first payment are due by Monday, November 6th. Ads can be paid in full. Email the yearbook online at yearbook at .org with photos, messages, or any concerns you may have. <laughs> Dang, Katina. When I think of senior year, I'm going to miss all the familiar faces and saying the goodbyes. Me too, Corey. One familiar face that I won't be seeing much anymore after graduation is Gabby. Hmm. I've known her as a school security guard since freshman year, but Gabby goes deeper than that. Let's take a look at a video and get to know a little bit more about Gabby. Hello, my name is Gabriel Padilla. I'm your security guard for Bishop Vermont. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When you before I came here to Bishop Milan, I was operation director for GMI out in the San Diego Riverside area. I oversee disaster management, safety, first aid, CPR, uh, both sides from security and territorial area. What's different from here, from Walmart, from other schools I've worked at, you guys are very kind to one another. I love that's part of me, that's what I love to do, to be kind, generous. Just give value to somebody that's less fortunate. Here in Alma, I feel at rest, peaceful. I found my niche here. I feel at home. I feel like family. Thank you. Lancers, the World Languages Department is still taking clothing donations for the less fortunate. Remember to bring your gently used clothing to any World Languages classroom. The last day for the clothing drive is Tuesday, October 31st. Student drivers, are you trying to get your car towed? Then please remember that only those with the current and valid parking permit are allowed to park in the student parking lot in their assigned spot. If your car is found without a permit or parked in the wrong spot, then you may be towed and you may make your parents very unhappy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, on a brighter note, Girls Golf won league. Woohoo! Woo! Yeah! 
Our athletes were 9-0 in league and 9-1 overall, led by the magnificent Sharon Shen, mm -hmm. Diana Delgado, and mm -hmm. Veronica Trulio. Mm -hmm. We also want to congratulate the varsity volleyball team for sweeping St. Genevieve on Tuesday. We are currently ranked number one in Division Six. Thursday, join us in saying goodbye as six seniors, Lucy Zhao, Lauren Vaca, Maddie Diaz, Sierra Hernandez, Liliana Hernandez, and Taylor Flores, uh, as they play in their last league match. Come on, support the girls as they battle to win league for the first time in 15 long years. Mm. Speaking of sports, although Amat's football team isn't doing as well as the Dodgers this season, they are finally turning their season around. Let's take a look at how. The varsity football team has gone from a preseason record of 0-4 to a season record of 3-0, making for an overall record of 3-4. This turnaround has been led by wide receiver turned quarterback Alex Arevalo, linebacker running back Dominic Barrera, and sophomore sensation Damian Moore. We interviewed them to get their thoughts on their bounce back to victory. How were you able to switch positions from wide receiver to quarterback so easily? Um, I played quarterback freshman and sophomore year, so I mean I've always wanted to play quarterback. It's always been, you know, like in the back of my mind, so you know, it was an easy transition. I always knew I wanted to play it. Uh, what do you want your role to, for the team to be uh, with that regular season coming to an end? Um, honestly, I just want to be put in a position where I can help my team win, and I don't really, it doesn't really matter what position I'm in, it's just as long as I get to help the team and make them better. How do you feel you have helped your lead such a young defense? Um, I just try to do my part. Uh, I try to be an example for everyone else, make sure everyone's doing their job because we need all 11 uh, to the football at all times. How do you feel you have benefited your team playing both offense and defense? Uh, just effort. I, I try to give my effort on every play, every every snap. Uh, I try to be the best person I could be, and if that means playing both offense and defense, then uh, so be it. What is your mindset heading into the final stretch of the regular season? Uh, be six and zero. You know, we we, we can't lose anymore, and, and we gotta head into into the rest of the season perfect, uh, so we get a good playoff berth. What was your mindset after the four game losing streak? Uh, it was rough at first, but then. Uh, the following week, we know we came into league play, so we know we had to, you know, get it together and um, push through to practice. How did you feel at the Crespi game, knowing your brother, a former Bishopmont running back, was there? Uh, I know uh, when he was there on the sideline, I knew how to uh, put on a uh, performance for him, so that gave me a little motivation there too. I'm Haley Moran, along with Matthew Acosta, reporting for the Lance. Hey Lancers, do you want to spook out the elderly or maybe just bring the Halloween spirit to them? Then join the adopted grandparent today, right after school. Please re report to room 104 with school's conclusion. They may not be young physically, but you can make them feel young at heart again. Hmm. The San Gabriel Regional Congress is back and better than ever. This year, the organizers are adding programs for the youth to make it more family friendly and there will also be an after hours event. Ooh, after hours event. What does that mean, Corey? That means food trucks and live music, Katina. This is open to all and hosted October 28th. <laughs> it will end with an anticipated mass at 3.45 p.m. in the Carroll Center. Everyone is free to attend and celebrate. Students who want to volunteer can sign up at the Christian Service Bulletin Board. Hey, Corey, why does a vampire consider himself a good artist? Hmm. Because he likes to draw blood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Are there any Lancers out there who want to draw blood too? We'll sign up for our November 2nd blood drive. You must be at least 16 to participate. Sorry, freshmen. All 16 and 17 year old donors need to have a parent guardian consent form signed in order to donate blood. Visit Ms. Harrell in room 408 to sign up. All consent forms must be turned in by Friday, October 27th. That's it for today, Lancers. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Week. <laughs>